Hey everybody, this is Rosemary Jane and I have another Tech Talk tidbit for you. Today we're doing Schoology conferencing, yep, in under five minutes. So I know I have an hour long training video, I can show it to you in under five minutes. All right, I'm inside of one of my courses in Schoology as the teacher and I simply scroll down here to conferences. Click on conferences and once inside, I have this blank area, I can start or create a new conference. So I'm gonna name this one Tech Talk, sample. And a few key uh, details on here. I wanna schedule it for today. We'll say it's gonna be at 3.30. And I can add an end time if I wanna maybe notify everybody when I'll be gone. So I might say 4 p.m. I'm only on there from 3.30 to 4. Some teachers do like to not leave the end time to keep it open-ended. So on the teacher side, I've created a conference. Let me show you this from a student side. So I'm in as one of my students in one of my courses. And that student just goes to conferences. Whoop, excuse me. That student just goes down here to the conference button, conference tab. And you can see that it says tech, uh, the conference has not started. The teacher owns that on this side. The teacher starts the conference. When the teacher starts the conference, they will get a sound check first. Test, test, check my sound. All right, it works. And this is what opens. Now on the student side, here's what they see. That closed conference is now in progress. So now that link works and I can join. Now I'm not gonna join with sound because I don't want the feedback in this quick video. So Hannah's site is opening up. I'm just gonna pretend I'm using my phone. I'm not gonna join with sound. Let's go back to the teacher side. On the teacher side, the first time I looked at this, I was a little overwhelmed by the amount of stuff on the screen. But actually, it's kind of helpful now that I know the tool. Here, the public chat opens up, and it's nice to not have to tell my users where to go to find the chat. It just opens right there. Chat here. So then we can start our chat. But I can just collapse that, and it goes away. This is information about Big Blue Button. But if you just slide over to slide two, guess what you've got now? A shared whiteboard. I really like this tool. I'm gonna grab my stylus and I'm going to start to write on here. All right, let's take a look at this from the student side. My student is now seeing what I'm presenting. Now that student can collapse that chat as well, but I can see that. Watch this. If the teacher selects this little button down here, multi-present, now my students can all join in too. Let me change her font, her color. So then Hannah or all of my students can co-share um, this whiteboard space. Folks, it actually gets better than this. In addition, there's another tool inside of Schoology called Upload Presentation. I love this one. So I'm going to upload, I'm pretending this is a slide, like a PowerPoint slide, or um, you could download a Google slide and, and use that. I click Upload. Bear in mind if it is very um, image heavy, a larger file might take a moment to upload. So you just upload that file and boom, there is a, a presentation. Now this could be multi-slide long, mine is only one slide, but I can still annotate on that. So I've got my stylus and I am marking that up with my student. And if I've got multi-present on, my student can mark up as well. So I should change her from blue to green. All right. So there we go. That is sharing the multi-presenter. Just a quick tip. Um, when you want to go get out of that back to the whiteboard, you just go back to the default and hit confirm and you're back in the whiteboard. So the teacher can also choose whether they share their webcam and allow it. It's nice that it doesn't default to that. So we just get straight into content. Um, so I like these tools that are built in. When the teacher ends this conference, and this is how we do it, Teacher goes in to the conference and clicks end conference. Now, I haven't ended it yet, so Hannah's still in there. I'm gonna click end conference and watch this instantly. She's taken out of the conference. All right, so I can read it and I'm done. Now, if I had recorded that, I forgot to show recording, it appears right at the top, you can record your conference. In my completed conferences, that recording can be found. It takes a little while to render. So that is simple and quick um, Schoology conferencing with interactive tools built in. There's chat, raising their hand, setting their status, shared um, notes, lots of stuff. Check it out.